Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jacer. In this video, let's solve another quiz number three from BFE.dev. It's promise then callbacks. It's a typical promise question. Okay, promise will resolve one. Uh, this promise internal value will be one, and it's into fulfill state. And then this is a function, and one will be put into this function's argument, and it returns two. So two will be taken as the re uh, internal value of this promise, right? And then there is then callback, and this is not a callback. Uh, I, I I believe that uh, actually this will be ignored, and so it will go to this one as the same. This is going to be six, and then here is a promise. Promise is a f not a function. Uh, this kind of stuff like a uh, just a uh, just uh, it's a. Uh, uh, I, I actually don't remember enough, so I'll just look up to the uh, uh, spec. Let's see. So here's a promise prototype. Then it says uh, promise this is promise. Then it will create a new promise internally, a new pro new promise capability uh, to passing as a result uh, uh, the fourth uh, parameter of this perform promise. Then okay, let's take a look at perform perform promise. Then it says if the result capability is not present, if, of course it's already up there. It's uh, like a container for uh, the uh, the promise and then is callback unfulfilled if callback unfilled is callable then continue if not unfill unfulfilled job callback is empty if it is callable then it's set to host make job callback unfulfilled so this actually determines what we is going on right because this is callable this is not this is callable. This is a promise object. It's not. It's not a function. So we have differences uh, based on this condition. If it is, uh, if it is not callable, like a three and a promise, then it will be set on empty. So the conti The next step is, of course, this is what we're doing. Uh, uh, this is be the reject callback. Okay, fulfilled callback. We will create a fulfilled reaction, which is a wrap object actually holding the the final result promise and type and handler okay when it is set up it says uh, promise promise it is pending of course it's not pending it's uh, if it is pending it will add to the list at the internal list okay it's not pending now it's uh, it's re uh, it's fulfilled so it's a uh, fulfilled it will say the value will be the previous value, right? Promise, promise, result. It should be two here, and and let's see the fulfilled job will, will actually trigger this like uh, this uh, this wrapper for uh, the fulfilled callback. Let's open it. It says, uh huh, result promise capability will be the capability. Okay, it's the final actually will. Uh, promise we need to uh, alter right the type uh, type fulfill if this handler handler if type handler is empty like the case of three and re, uh, promise it says let's the handler resolve be normal completion argument the argument is the second one which is the value so normal completion actually returns normal value is the argument and target is empty so actually when three and uh, a six here or two and a six here it will actually just use that value and to return a normal completion resolve right okay it's continue uh it's here if had the result is a abrupt completion abrupt completion refers to any completion uh not than normal but uh, current uh, but previously we returned on no have a normal uh, a completion, right? Rather than normal, we have break, continue, return, or throw. We have a normal, so it means we have fulfilled an uh, for data. So it says uh, it's a not abrupt abrupt completion. So we go to here else. Uh, we call the community. This is the uh, the promise one to uh, uh, alter. So this second one is just like the function call. It's a target. This so it's fine. This is the value. So we can see that actually it will 
take actually when it is not a function, it will take the previous one. It will take the previous value uh, as the value, right? And then return a promise on that. So here, one, we got a we promise one, and then we use one and got the promise which resolved to two, and then three, because it's not a function, we take this value and resolve it. So it is a promise of two. This is a promise of three. Uh, this is a of uh, no, a promise of six. And this is a promise of six. And then log. Okay, obviously, uh, this returns a promise of uh, 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 of undefined. And uh, but this const log here logs actually the previous va uh, fulfilled value is six. So it should be six. Great, that's it. Uh, pretty interesting. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.